So, Carolyn, Miss, I have a last question. So, you um, you're talking about the spiritual crisis. Mm -hmm. How how do you, how do you define this? What what is for you? What is going on right now in this world? <laughs> a lot of things are collapsing. We want to understand that. What is well, the sacred contract of the U.S.? Why is this happening right now? I think that that's such a huge question. I think it's not just the U.S., but the U.S. is has its own version of we're at the end of one era and the beginning of another. And that's all there's to it. One way to look at it is we're, we're coming to the end of the fossil age and we're the beginning of the solar. But we are at the end. And it's a privilege to be alive now. We're at a very historic time, but we're at the end. And we're at like an axial shift. I mean, we're living at a time when every, every form of life from every molecule of oxygen, there's holes in the ozone, to every creature in the ocean, look at the oil, there's, to every government, to every monetary system, to every human being, to every occupation, not one form or expression of life will remain unchanged as we go through these next years. And one way to say it is we are all traveling off a familiar planet together. We are all leaving together a planet we once knew one way to try and create a planet another. And it's going to be a tumultuous journey because nobody leaves familiar territory without a fight. Nobody. And we don't know where we're going. We don't know what the new planet's going to look like. We don't know how to be solar beings. And we don't know how to be beings of, I don't know, one global currency. We don't know how to share that way. The groundwork's been laid. We have a global internet. We, we have certain theologies in place now. We have a global theology. And, 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 but we're used to being Earth-centric. We don't have a global galactic theology. We, we don't include other people from other galaxies in our theology. We think we're the only ones that have a God mm -hmm. and that there isn't life anywhere else. We have a lot to expand on. We're very primitive in our thinking. We're very earth-centric, and we're very sovereign nation. We can't, we can't get over the nations we were born in. We have so much to get over. We can't get over ourselves. We can't, we can't even conceive of people from another country on the same planet we call foreigners. I mean, so we, we can't even get over thinking of ourselves as a planetary community, much less nation by nation. I mean, we, we are so primitive. So primitive. And maybe this is the shift from us going from this primitive state of, this is like the organs of the body fighting, thinking they are sovereign and not getting that they're all part of this body. It's the same template. What is in one is in the whole. And it's the same, it's, it's holism fighting sovereignty. And that's what you're witnessing if you get it archetypally. That's the battle, holism fighting sovereignty. And holism is going to win. It's going to win. But sovereignty won't go down without a fight. Does that help you? Yes. And what is, in, uh, what is, your, what is your intuition about what is needed for us to do as individuals and collectively to help the shift? Um, I think what we're doing teaching, do what you do, what you're called to do, be a reporter, be courageous, become congruent, pray, all the good things you're called to do. So it's in the opening of the heart. And it's in your right action. Right. right action, right livelihood, have right values, be a good... Integrity? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be courageous. This is a time for courage. So we're all calling all, all souls to be courageous today. Yeah, you got it. We've got to live what we claim we believe now, without exception. Do you have something else to add to this conversation, something that you really want to say that we haven't said about defying 
defy gravity or well, I hope that people will come to the lectures that I'm giving because I think they're important. Mm -hmm. I I think that what I am teaching now is very valuable at this time. Very, very valuable. And I thank you for taking the time to interview me mm -hmm. on this subject. It, it's a pleasure to talk with you. We know that you have one in Holland coming up in September. Yes, I love Holland. Organized by Biz Events, and you, you do many of them all around the world. And uh, it's a privilege to have you as a teacher, and and that you're you're sharing your wisdom with us. Thank you. Thank you. It's a